Welcome to the revolution. Hi, my name is Scott Lagan. I'm the author of Digital Art Revolution, Creating Fine Art in Photoshop, a book published by Watson Guptill, a division of Crown Books, the premier publisher in books. There are many Photoshop books on the market that emphasize tricks, shortcuts, and techniques to emulate art history and the styles of the great artists that made art history. Digital Art Revolution takes a different approach. This book, rather than teaching you to imitate various techniques from art history, teaches you to understand the basics of the visual language, combine them with the revolutionary possibilities inherent in digital image making, and use them to develop a voice of your own and go out and make art history. The book is a how-to, but more importantly, it's also a why-to. Every chapter, every discussion, and every exercise is put in a larger context. The context of the revolutionary possibilities involved with digital technology and digital art. Digital art functions as a revolutionary tool that integrates with virtually every medium, even while it obliterates the boundaries and definitions of mediums. Whether something is a still image, whether it moves, whether it interacts with the viewer, whether it tells a narrative story, whether it has sound, whether it's only sound, thanks to digital technology, these are choices in your toolbox where you can select something and make these choices based on what's appropriate for your specific work, rather than examples of different mediums. Digital art functions as a medium in and of itself. This would be characterized by having a piece that is created digitally from start to finish. Movement, interactivity, customizable. These are things that you'd associate with digital art as a medium in and of itself. Digital art functions beyond the constraints of a medium. A medium traditionally has limitations or characteristics. Digital art has no specific limitations or characteristics in and of itself. Digital art doesn't have to look like anything. It's determined by the artist and it's determined by the software. This will constantly change. This will constantly improve. Digital technology is literally unlimited in its possibilities, and any technological limitation is temporary. The internet, social networking, blogging, file transfers, digital technology functions as an unprecedented vehicle for the dissemination of ideas and creative endeavors. Digital technology offers unprecedented new creative possibilities, and these possibilities over time will drastically redefine the way we approach creative endeavors. Digital Art Revolution, creating fine art in Photoshop, as the name implies, focuses on one tiny bit of the digital revolution, creating fine art in Photoshop. The fine art perspective comes in developing a personal voice and something that is personally expressive. Photoshop is a great image editor for photographic images. It's also a great digital painting tool. But even more importantly, it's the ability that Photoshop has to take images and elements from different sources and synthesize them into something cohesive that makes Photoshop the ideal software for this book. The book is also placed in the context of the visual language and visual communications. These are things that don't change. What changes is how they're applied or the possibilities for how they can be applied to digital art. Visual thinking is thinking of things as a whole. It looks at the relationships of things rather than the individual parts. The sum is greater than the parts, and it's how things are put together and how things are arranged that communicates something to us. One of the amazing things about the visual language is that an artist can do something that's completely unique and completely personal, where nobody but that artist could make that work, and it could still communicate something that is readable to the viewer. This isn't a book that teaches people how to copy what I'm doing step by step and make something that looks like what I make. This is a book that provides how-to exercises so people can see the possibilities and the uses of the tools and then assigns projects that encourage people to try the possible combinations of things in each chapter towards developing something original. It also emphasizes the concept of mining a vein, taking a few things that are worth exploring and that you're excited by and developing those into a personal style or a personal voice in art that's recognizable. I was trained as a painter, and I think that's a big part of the influence on the way that I've approached digital art and the way that I've approached the writing of Digital Art Revolution. As a traditional painter, I'd often be intrigued by a possibility, explore it, and then ruin my painting. One of the interesting characteristics of digital art, as long as you have the time that you can explore any tangent, you can save a file, you can save it under a different name, take it in a different direction. If it doesn't work, you can back up, open the other file, the original file, and progress and try something different. As long as you have the time, you can explore anything. And also you can take aspects of the different things that you've explored, combine them together into something new, and keep adding and subtracting until it works. That 
process of addition and subtraction is really related to traditional painting. Every chapter of the book features full-color examples from some of the most innovative and successful digital artists working today. Digital Art Revolution Creating Fine Art in Photoshop does cover the basics of Photoshop and digital art from the beginning. A person with no digital art experience and little computer experience could pick up the book and really learn how to make digital art from the ground up. Because of the unique structure of the book and the emphasis on developing a personal voice, it's also a book that's incredibly useful and helpful to people that are experienced as digital artists. Digital Art Revolution also functions as a great textbook. As a student, I would have loved to have a book that approaches digital art from this perspective. To get more information about Digital Art Revolution Creating Fine Art in Photoshop, you can go to the website for the book, www.digitalartrevolution.com. The website features information on the book, information on the artists in the book with links to their websites. It offers additional information that would be helpful to digital artists. It offers tutorials that are not found in the book. And it offers links to good digital art websites and things that are related to digital art and Photoshop. You can purchase Digital Art Revolution Creating Fine Art in Photoshop from Amazon.com, Borders, Barnes & Noble, IndieBound, and virtually every major bookseller.